Alright guys, how's it going? So in the last video, I actually covered dynamic paint. Now, I'll put the link in the top right if you want to check it out, but I want to go over a few more options in terms of the surface type and create a kind of wave. So in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. I'll press Shift and A and I'll add in a simple plane. And this will act as a canvas. I'll scale this up by pressing S. I'll tab into object mode, make sure the object's selected. I'll come to edge and I'll do a quick subdivide. And what I'm going to do here is I'll just subdivide it 100 times. I'll tab back into object mode. I'll press Shift and A and I need something to act as a brush. So we'll make it a simple UV sphere. And what I'll do here is on frame 1, I'll move it to the left. I'll keyframe it. And on frame 100, I'll move it to the right. And this will act like a kind of bow or an object to actually collide with the canvas. So the next thing we need to do is select the plane come to the physics properties on the right hand side, click on dynamic paint and you can see here canvas and all we do is enable add canvas. Now in terms of the format you can check out the other video I'll go over image sequence things like this but I'm going to enable anti-aliasing and I'm going to put the sub steps up to maybe one. And here you can see the surface type. Now originally I covered paint but this time I want to act like a wave. So I'll go back to frame one at the start, I'll select the UV sphere I'll come to the physics properties again, dynamic paint, and I'll make this the brush, and I'll add a brush. And what I need to do here is, come down at the bottom where it says waves, and we have a few different types, we have a depth charge, and that kind of acts like a boat, we have a force, we have an obstacle, and we have a reflecto only, and check this out when I hit play. We get a really nice wave effect, in fact, if I actually right click, I can do a shade smooth, I'll go back, calculate it, and we get something pretty damn cool. Now there's not many software packages that does this so quickly and the great thing about this is if I go back I'll select the sphere and what I'll do here is I'll quickly select these keyframes right click and I'll delete them. I'll press G to grab and I'll hit play in the timeline and watch this. Interactive. How cool is that? Now if I actually change the type to something like an obstacle you'll see that it actually does the opposite. And you can play around with some of these settings, you have things like a factor, and if you actually go to the canvas, you can change things like the time, the speed, the dampening, the spring. You can really mess around and create some unique things. So in terms of the surface type, you can change this to maybe a displacement map, a weight paint. Play around, experiment, learn how the system works. And just as one last tip, if we actually go drop down to Cache, you'll notice that it won't let you bake anything. And the reason for that is you need to save the scene in order to bake out first. So do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.